If you guys need help gearing up for Red Dead Online, which is going to be coming out at the end of November, or any of the other games coming out this year, check out G2A with the link in the description, and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be solving another mystery. Can you actually get to the devil's hiding spot in his secret cave? So as I'm sure you guys know by now, on the far west side of the map, there is a secret cave that actually extends underground outside of the map. And in there lives a mysterious man that he calls himself the Devil. Now, the in-game name for him is Cave Hermit, but he says he's the Devil. He His hair is like devil-shaped. It's really, really strange. And each time you visit him in his cave, he'll have a very strange and mysterious conversation with you. Uh, I'll actually let you guys take a listen to one of those conversations now, just so you can have a better idea as to sort of the things he ultimately says. Who is so desperate for friends, you keep a no Fucking me! Me! When I was sane, I was dull, and now I'm insane, and I'm very dull. I live in a cave. I rant about the meaning of meaninglessness. I know everything about nothing and nothing about anything. I've never been with a woman. I'm very lonely, and still I don't know how to be friends. Go away. Please, not another step. You're not wanted here. Go back now, please! Go! 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 Imagine the worst place ever? Well, that's what this cave is like. Now go away. Please, turn around and head up to the fresh air and to the happy Americans up in the world. I've seen America. I'm happier in this cave. Nothing. Nothing makes me long for the time of kings more than this. The age of the common man. The age of democracy. The age of idiots. We have put the idiots in charge, and we wonder why the world has turned stupid. Are we dumber than them? Are we really? Could we possibly be this stupid? Don't answer that. It's a rhetorical question. I imagine even that's lost on you. So that right there is one example of sort of the conversations that you'll ultimately have with the devil in this cave. You know, after a while, he eventually will show himself. And then when he's done talking, he will proceed to go back to his hiding spot. And if you travel throughout this entire cave, you'll notice that there is no way in which you can actually reach the devil. Uh, he is in like his own little island up there. And no matter where you go, you won't be able to find him. In fact, you need to be careful because there's a lot of turns and twists in this cave that actually lead to giant dead ends where if you follow them, you'll fall into an abyss and you will actually die. So it's something you need to be careful about. Well, what if there was a way to actually get inside and visit the devil. So believe it or not, you can actually get up there and it's super simple. I've heard a lot of people say you have to do this crazy like parkour maneuver, but it's actually not that hard. So what you want to look for is this tiny little like rock. I don't know if it's like stalactite, stalagmite, which one it is. It's very small. Essentially what you want to do is stand on that, face where the devil's corridor is, and then you want to sprint and jump and push forward at the same time. This might take you a couple tries. I was able to do it pretty easily on my second or third. Now, it's definitely not realistic, the jump you make. I mean, uh, Arthur essentially turns into like a character from Assassin's Creed. I mean, that jump is massive, but you can actually make it up there and you can check out what the devil is hiding. So first things first, it's very dark back here, so I would recommend that you bring a lantern. And honestly, when when I saw him, I thought he was dead because he is like completely frozen. He does not react to you at all 
coming up to his area. In fact, he doesn't even blink. So I don't know if this is just the programming of the character itself because Rockstar didn't expect you to get up here or if this is just the fact that he's that creepy and doesn't need to move or blink. So he completely does not react to you at all, which is very, very strange. Another thing that's very strange is he has like this lava pit fireplace up there that you cannot stand on. Like, I don't know what it is. It's this glowing red lava rock. Uh, I'm really not too sure, but he's got that going on. On the walls itself, he's got like these crazy markings. It's like hieroglyphics and stick figures. And I'm not sure if there's a story here that we can actually try and figure out, but I was unable to find anything just based off of the, the drawings alone. Uh, and there's also like a cave system as well that you can actually go back in. Now, I didn't know if there was anything else back here, and it didn't look like this led to the beginning of the cave, but I did find one of those abyss pits that I was talking about earlier, where, you know, if you accidentally run into that, you are going to fall completely off of the map. So it looks like there really wasn't anything of a continuation as far as what was up here. Uh, it was just the devil's little hideout, and that's it. Like, there's no secret back room. A couple of other things that were here, there were some books and some papers and some notes on the ground. Now, the papers you actually couldn't read. I even took out my binoculars, zoomed on them as much as I could, and I still wasn't able to make out uh, any of the content in those notes. So it's pretty clear that Rockstar didn't model them or didn't put them in the game designed to be read. Uh, there's just a couple of candles as well. Now I was definitely not done on my journey with the devil. I felt like that was not significant enough. Another thing that's kind of interesting to me is I don't know what this guy's profession used to be like before he decided to live in this cave, but it looks like he's wearing a tuxedo. Uh, so maybe he's someone important. Maybe he was someone that was wealthy at a time. I'm not too sure. Now one thing that was strange, if you actually aim your gun at the devil, then he would start reacting but only if you decided to aim your gun at him in fact i'll let you guys take a listen to it right now he basically says like why this is why i live alone you know why are you such a moron it's pretty crazy take a listen to what he has to say damn it all just when i think there are no more morons in the world another one comes along this is why i live alone just when I think there are no more morons in the world, another one comes along. So after hearing that, I was not exactly too thrilled with our friend the devil. So I wanted to see if I could actually lasso him and uh, get him out of this cave. Like what would happen if you bring the devil out of his cave? That's sort of another mystery I wanted to see if I could solve. And if you just try and lasso him, it's actually something that you cannot do. You won't be able to lasso the devil in the cave. Like the game won't physically let you. So it was pretty clear I wasn't gonna be able to lasso this guy. Rockstar definitely did not want us interacting with him and being up here. And I found out that the only way in which we could attempt to lasso him would be if uh, maybe he took some damage. So I got out my pistol and I figured if I shot him in the foot, there would be no way that would fatally kill him and I would be able to get him and lasso him and bring him outside and see maybe how people react to him. And unfortunately, if you do just an ounce of damage to this guy, he ends up dying on the spot. A bullet to the foot is all it took for this guy to uh, pass out and die. But at least from there, we had the option to pick him up and loot him. If you loot him, this guy literally has nothing on him. You just get negative karma. And if you pick him up, at least the way I tried to go first, I realized that I was gonna have to try and carry him up a ladder, which was not going to work all that well, obviously, because that's something you cannot do in game. So I went back up there a second time, and it actually turns out that this guy's cave system is connected to the entrance. So that's something that I learned from the beginning of this video is that yes, this cave system does like do a full loop where you can actually get back down to the beginning. And that's what I did. I ended up bringing him outside of the cave. I mean, from there, there wasn't much I could do with him. I mean, I could feed his body to some alligators or pigs or something along those lines. But I mean, the guy's dead, so no one's going to really react to that. Uh, no one's going to react to a dead cave hermit. So 
I guess that right there is the mystery solved. Like, you can get up there and interact with him. It's just awkward. I don't think Rockstar really programmed any face-to-face -face interaction because they didn't imagine you being able to parkour up there and, you know, get a face-to-face -face conversation with the guy. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you interacted with this cave hermit, the devil in the cave in Red Dead Redemption 2? If so, let me know what your interaction was in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.